for today's project, I'm gonna be turning some malachite into some copper with my backyard foundry setup. For my first attempt at this project, I crushed the malachite down till it was like the consistency of sand and mixed that in with some ashes from the fire and let that do its thing in my crucible. That worked out okay and I got some interesting pieces of metal out of it that look like this. I'm gonna do a different variation of the experiment where I use bigger chunks of malachite and see if they're still able to turn back into copper when they're heated. Let's melt some malachite. To get this started, I'm gonna mix some of my charcoal in with some of my malachite. The flame in the foundry tends to create like a whirlwind effect that whips around some of the charcoal dust. So I'm gonna grab this steel plate, I'm gonna add this to the top to keep it from blowing out all over the place. After about 45 minutes, I pulled this off. The weird thing about this is that when I shake this around, there is no trace of any copper or any malachite in here. It just all looks dark. Next, we're gonna dump this through a strainer and see if there's any metal in here. Now, if there is any metal in here, it's still gonna be really hot. So we're gonna dunk it in the water, see if we can cool it down, and then we'll sift through this by hand. Now as I shake this around, I can hear the metal at the bottom, but to separate it really easy, all I'm going to do is just skim this stuff off the top. And there you have it. Part one of the experiment was a success. We've converted malachite into copper. But now what I want to do is turn it into something functional. The first known man-made tool made out of smelted metal like this was a copper ax. We're going to try and melt that copper back down and pour it into this clay mold and see if we can make an ax head just like the original. I studied anthropology in college and I always thought it would be really cool to learn the skills from ancient people and be able to duplicate them today. I had planned out a whole series of skills that I wanted to learn and then another guy started doing that on YouTube and he does such a great job that I didn't really feel like competing with him. But this project is just too cool to pass up. The copper from the first time I did this came out a lot different than the copper from the second time I did this. The first time you can see it's a lot rougher while the second time I left it in there for longer and I think that contributed to it being more rounded. I put them both into the crucible to melt down for our axe head. The clay mold hadn't been fired in a kiln, so you can see when the hot metal hit it, eventually it cracked. Now that I have my axe head finished, I'm gonna try and follow this little bevel that I created here in the mold and file it down on this flat piece of granite.
You can see we started to get an edge here and if I follow it around you can see where it actually was scraping it off of the copper there onto the granite. When it comes to primitive skills I love practicing the concepts but once it gets to the point of just hours and hours of repetitive tasks that's usually where I shift to the power tools. I put an edge on our copper axe head, now I just need to attach it to a handle. A squirrel planted a black walnut tree right underneath one of our apple trees. So I'm going to pull that out now and that's what I'm going to use for the handle on our axe. All right, so we got our hole cut out and I kind of ground this down a little bit so it was a little more even so it would fit better. And uh, we're just gonna try and do a test fit here. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna tighten this up in there a little bit more and we'll secure it with some cordage and call that good. The ax head is wedged in there pretty good now so I'm gonna secure it with some of this jute twine and just make sure that it's on there nice and tight. I really like this jute twine. I use this a lot, uh, in particular in my fire starting kits. This makes for a great start for your tinder bundle. All right, let's give it a test. So the axe broke already, but it was still a fun project to do. I had a feeling something like that might happen, which is why I used some of my power tools to speed up the process. Malachite is such a beautiful stone with its striations running through its unique green color. This made me feel somewhat like this experiment was a waste. In the future, I'll remelt the copper back down into something even cooler. While it's not as common in the United States, I used to see malachite in the bazaars while I was working overseas. Usually the stones were polished into spheres and turned into necklaces and bracelets. I've been trying to stay busy with tinker projects like this until our electrical is finished getting installed out on the property. Then we're going to take that tiny house and move it out to the homestead. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along.